Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys uh, sort of like a modified puff pastry dough. Um, ultimately, I'm gonna be making cronuts with this dough, but first I have to tackle the dough just because it takes um, quite a bit of time uh, to take care of. Just keep in mind, this is not a traditional puff pastry recipe. It is a modified version. Um, so uh, those of you who are looking for a really traditional puff pastry, this is not it. But it's basically, like I said, it's exactly like a puff pastry recipe. All the techniques are there. Um, but you, it's just with the addition of yeast and eggs and a little bit of sugar and that's basically it. So with all that said, uh, let's just get this recipe started. Alrighty, so the first step in this recipe is mixing the dough. So start off by adding warm milk, eggs, sugar, a little bit of salt, vanilla extract, and the yeast. Once you're done adding the first round of ingredients, attach the bowl to the mixer and set it on low speed, and then start adding your flour a cup at a time, making sure that the flour is completely incorporated in between each cup. And once you're done with this process, continue mixing for about five minutes. Once the dough is formed into a ball and is slightly tacky, take it out of the mixer and put it into some plastic film and roughly shape it into a sort of a rectangle shape and then refrigerate it for about 30 minutes. So while you're waiting for your dough to chill in the refrigerator, get your butter out and whip it in the mixer for about 2-3 to three minutes on high speed or until it's pale and fluffy. Now that the dough has had time to rest and cool down in the fridge, take it out and roll it into a large rectangle. Once rolled out, evenly spread the whipped butter onto it and fold it into thirds. Refrigerate this for 30 minutes again. Alrighty, so now comes the real fun part. Take the dough out of the fridge again and this time pinch the ends so that no butter will burst out of the seams as you roll it. Once that's done, start rolling it out into a large rectangle and again fold it into thirds and refrigerate for 30 minutes. Oh yeah, and by the way, you have to do this six times. So once you're done with that process, you have a wonderful dough that you can shape, fill, bake, stuff, or frost with really whatever you want. But here I'm just going to make a really simple cinnamon roll up, which I've just brushed the, the dough with a little bit of butter, cinnamon sugar, and let them proof for about an hour before baking. Once you're done with the proofing process, just bake them at 425 degrees for about 5-7 to seven minutes, and you have a wonderful morning pastry or midnight snack. Alright, so this puff pastry, sort of this modified puff pastry, 
is finished. Um, I got some more in the fridge uh, for an upcoming recipe. Uh, it's going to be my cronut recipe, and this is the exact same dough that you need for that recipe. Uh, but I just wanted to test it out first and see uh, how it came out, and it's uh, just absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to give this guy a try now. Really good. Right away, really nice, rich, buttery dough. Great flavor for this time of year especially. Nice autumn cinnamon warm spice flavor going on here. Mm. Um, start to finish, this took about five hours or so uh, between mixing the dough in, the, in my mixer and baking it and finishing it up. It's about five hours. So uh, if you plan on making this recipe, just keep in mind it does take some time. Um, but as you can see, it's just such a beautiful outcome. Uh, definitely worth it. Absolutely worth it. So with that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe. Uh, please uh, be on the lookout for my next recipe that's going to be utilizing this dough for a cronut, which I'm super stoked about. Um, and it's going to have some really beautiful pumpkin spice flavors going on. Um, so, But if you did enjoy this recipe, please subscribe, thumbs up, and uh, comment below for future video requests. And I'll see you guys next time with some more recipes. Bye, guys.